our midweek SWPL football as we are here at Glebe Park, home of Brecon in the men's game, but Aberdeen are using it as their home venue this evening for the first game in Glasgow City since the end of 2017. They've been down a couple of divisions, but they found their way back into SWPL 1 and they are home against the champions this evening. Farley took a moment and found the space in Julian Mall. Nine minutes almost played. And this uh, Wednesday night game at Glee Park. Dodd's looking to peel away. Finds Colwell here. Dodd's going to get this back here into the box. Tyler Dodds is going to strike away. A well worked effort. Easy enough for Gilmore to take. But the handcuff with Dodds and Colwell caused a problem there for Aberdeen. But met by Gilmore. Best opportunity in the first 10 minutes. Cats looking to float it. Maybe a chance here for Phil to do to get in and behind on Broderick. Doing well. Colville. It's met. Good save in the near post. Still alive. Colville again. And not at the first time, but at the second time. Aoife Colville on the scoring sheet. 10 minutes played at Glade Park. Oh, well, good work there, and it was well saved, actually, that post great dive, but well worked by Sully to find that second opportunity in the seventh of the season, and 1-0. Thoughts to take here, first corner for Glasgow City, one up, and for the second, at the near post, the header away by Campbell. Cats, that was lovely. Oh, goodness me, that was a fantastic bit of play. Great skill. <laughs> Shove the back of Katz there. <laughs> Quick there from Artifel to restart things from Katz's free kick and Phil to do loot. It's a free kick on the edge of the box. Side down on that far side. So Taylor Dodds free kick for Glasgow City. Oh, and Neve Farrelly. There's two or three looking for it, and Neve Farrelly coming in with the header. And 14 minutes played. It's a second for Glasgow City. It's a quick start from the champions this evening. An inviting ball in. So the wayside throw in. And here towards Colville quickly. Then the turn away. Vitel Katz. And that'll do. And the champions looking to win the game early. In the 17th minute. Hopeful barreling round Strath and getting it across. And Katz with the finish. Dodds with the control for Tadulu with the run. Look at the power wing from Broderick. Still going here. What power! Oh, and that was a good chance into the side netting. It went via the nick of the defender. Striding run. An extraordinaire there from Holy Phil to do. Looking for a bit of running. The first team played, started at the weekend, starting this evening. Clark switching here for Agatha Philippa. And for the delivery. Oh, it's went all the way in. That'd be one to ask if it's a cross or a shot. I'm pretty sure it probably was a cross, but sailed in over Gilmore's head. And half an hour on the clock. So they add to the tally with something spectacular, if perhaps not meant. It was a brilliant ball against the assist for Clark. And then ball sailing into the box, but sailing over everyone, including the keeper for number four. Look at a shove there. Referee. Plays on, Agatha Philpa plays on. 
only finds Roderick in red. Comes back though. Farrelly. Actually stopped but illegally. From uh, Collins, I think, and the referee having a chat too. May well be the yellow card also at the edge of the box of foul. Catch around and make it. May well be the Australian international. Oh, and off the keeper's hands, couldn't keep it out, too hot to handle. And City have five in the first half. And Vitel Cat is looking to make the most of the game time. The evening starting, and a free kick which uh, was placed, and it just couldn't quite get on the fingertips. It was in the corner. I feel like just for a bit of urgency again in the second half. They know they're in a comfortable position, but I'm sure they're looking to add another goal or two in there. Clark tried to thread through here, and Davidson. Continues the run across, Gilmore gets a hand. Jinjia just tried to get there. It's still around here for Kaelin Miki. That was a wonderful ball. Great play there. Gilmore did the rest to grapple hold. Handball against Hutchison. Owen Trinchia stealing this. Vitel Katz for the hat trick. And it's well taken by Gilmore. From nothing. Aaron coming the ball away and Trinchia roving. And Katz on the position to try and get her third in the game. Oh, Bates once more. It's Carlin. And it had to get a header away. On the line, I'm not sure if it was friend or foe that got the header on the connection, but maybe it could have been a, a goal. What a delivery it was from the corner. Now that was dangerous, but the attack continues. Might well run away from Bates, it will be a thrown though from Doig. Of course, they're looking for a hat trick. Might set up Shine here. Oh, just ran a little away from a foot. And the gap closed. Hutchison chasing. Alexander just missing out here, but Clark should have it covered. Hutchison still putting the pressure on. Noble there back. Well, too, particularly the Army coach team thinking a bit too much aggression on the City defender, but referee said that was fine. And Chia for Davidson. Travelling looked to reset defensively. Bates was struggling a little bit to get the control she wanted, and Gilmore will come and take. And a frenetic minute or so there at both ends of the pitch. Clark just sending it, and Campbell's going to have to watch because Chinchilla was behind and Gilmore was put the pressure on Mickey here for Shine Chinchilla to get round Campbell Shine and support round short oh and Cullen across beats there and into the side of the net it goes good footwork from the sub in the second half and he just couldn't quite get around it by the far post. Francesca Ogilvy looking to find one. Good delivery for Aberdeen. Oh, it went all the way across the face of goal. There's a bit of a scrap clearance from Farley eventually. It's Howard away. And Maya Bates looking to get forward here for Chinchilla, who has got a lot of pace to burn, of course. There are those players getting back at, well, maybe just a heavy touch, though. And it's away by Campbell and recovered there. It is a corner up the other end. But that was a dangerous, dangerous ball in from uh, Francesco Ogilvy. If he's had a little look at the watch. 
And there is the final whistle from a referee, Joe Kennedy. No further goals for Glasgow City in the second half to add to the goals in the first. It was a convincing half-time scoreline anyway. If a call for looking in the scoring inside 10 minutes, Nee Farrelly five minutes later made it to Vito Katt scored twice in that first half with a developer's cross shot in the middle of that. And in the second half, a lot of changes, a couple of young players getting good game time and just finding their feet. Aberdeen kind of grew into it with one or two little half opportunities, but City were comfortable for the game and the job was done in the first half. All eyes look to Sunday at the Tony Macron Arena as Grant Scott's last game in charge against his uh, former side in Hibs in SNL PL1. That one is a one o'clock kickoff. Final score though in breaking this evening, Aberdeen nil, Glasgow City 5.